Bring her back. Let's see what kind of person she really is. I don't think it's necessary. Jishing and I will have a good life in Tomorrowland. Tenshi, shouldn't you have faith in Jishing? Of course I have faith in her. It's my dad I don't trust. I promise you, I'll make a fair judgment. I won't make it hard on her. Tenshi. I'll think about it. Let me show you out. Dad, I'll be right back. Our family is always like this. I'm sorry you had to see that. Mr. Chung, don't mention it. Bring me Xia Zixing's file. I want to have a closer look. Okay. I'll go get it. Sorry. I shouldn't have been so rude. I know you well. You talk back. I know you don't mean it. Words said can't be taken back. Maybe I'll regret it for my whole life. Thanks for helping me out there. When you talk with Dad next time, watch your tone. As you know, he isn't in good shape. For behavior. Tianjun and I bailed them out. Is that so? When we got to the police station, Cha Jixing said something disturbingly embarrassing. He and I are lovers. He likes to be cuffed to the bed, whipped and waxed. 
shameless. Kindred, Tianxi and Xia Jixing were arrested by the police before. Why did you withhold it from me? You told Dad? You racked your brains just to humiliate someone? I'm doing it for the Zhongs. A person's past doesn't define who he is now. Why are you so biased against her? If we let a morally defective person to our family, what if she tricks us all and ruins Eshine? I think that we should bear in mind the gravity of the matter. If a person who lied before can't work here, I think you might also fall into that category. What do you mean? Yaro, have you ever considered that I might know something you never told me? Your fiance had a run with you, the rector. Tachi, help me! Tachi, where are you going? I'm leaving. Yaro, are you willing to be with me forever? Tachi, we just saved the company from a crisis. Dad, don't you remember? You just promised Tian Shi you would give Xia Xishang one more chance. Your bias might drive Tian Shi away. Enough. No more arguing. As I'm going to meet that girl, I'll make my own judgment. What's wrong with you two? Why are you quarreling with each other over an outsider? The criteria for any daughter-in-law is very simple. She must be from a good family, like Yao Ruo. That's all I ask. I'll use the same criteria to evaluate Xia Zixing. Yao Ruo, I really can't stand that your eyes are always following Tian Qi. Tomorrowland, I'm back. Hey, Jishung. If you feel uncomfortable and sad, let it out. How can Chen Chi do this? Uh, frankly speaking, I also feel disheartened and sad. Our money cow is gone. So is your chance to marry into a rich family. But we still have our dignity, right? Now, listen to me. Go back to your room and cry it out. Vent it out. Take a nap. Tomorrow is a new day. Huh? Hmm. Ah, uh, I know her well. By giving her some encouragement, she should perk up. Ah! 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 I said vent it out, not throw it out! Ah! come on! Ah! 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 Jisung, please, please calm down. You'll pull this house down if you go on like that. Jeez! Look at this mess! Even if you throw rubbish away, you should sort it first. What's the point of sorting rubbish? Careful! The perfect love Bible. Isn't this your biggest treasure? Uh, garbage! Uh. Is that bastard Zhong Tianqi really as bad as you described? I'll tell you what, he's even worse. At the press conference, security kicked us out. What? Kicked you out? How can you do that? I was just kidding. Oh, you didn't see the look on Chi Ching's face. She was shocked, hurt. Miserable and all. She thought she had found her Mr. Right. 
But who would think he was? Oh, luckily I dumped Tianxi, or the person crying would be me. Oh. Bao Zhu, enough! Mark my words. Don't let me run into him again. If I see him again, I swear I'll show him no mercy. He'll beg for death. I'll make him regret being born. Never let him out. Shut him out. Shut him out. So hot. Oh, so oh. handsome. He's totally different. He's a real prince. Hey, why are all you guys here? Well, wake up, guys. Are you forgetting he dumped Jersheng? Hurting Jersheng is hurting all of us. Although we're poor, we have a sense of honor. Unlike Mr. Jong, the ungrateful jerk. Right, right. 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 Yeah. Why didn't you come back? Get out of the way. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. We don't want you here. Get go away. Get out of here. Go away. Get out of here. Go away. Go away. Welcome. You will watch the press conference? It's a misunderstanding. If I don't care about Jishing, why would I bother coming back? Ren Yao, calm down. Zhong Tianqi, you're still trying to fool us? What I see is you hurting Jersheng. Tell you what, from now on, I'll take care of Jersheng. You get out! I really love Jersheng. Bullcrap! If you loved her, you wouldn't have done that to her. Do you remember the oath you took? If you really fell in love with her, you'd be hit by a car, remember? Yes. Then how dare you come here? Aren't you afraid? If I was afraid, I wouldn't come back. Okay. You ungrateful bastard, let me teach you a lesson. Wait and see. Don't tinch you. If you really love Jersheng, don't move an inch. You really won't? Don't expect me to show you mercy. What's he doing? I don't know, it's dangerous. I dare you not to move. Right? Then he fulfilled his oath. He must really be in love with Jishin. Zhong Tianqi, I'll give you one more chance. Tell me something I don't you kept your promise. Be sure to take good care of Jishin, you got me? Don't just stand here. 
Go see Jersheen. Get her back. Hurry. Go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Go get her. Go get her. Hey, my nephew-in-law, you're back. Thank God you're back. Why is Jishin? I'm warning you. Jishin is really, really pissed off. When you talk to her, don't butt in. Let her do the talking and vent her anger. Remember, don't talk back, okay? I'm with you 100%. You've got my back. I'll always be on your side. I mean every word. Hmm? Uh, Mr. Jong, I'm glad you're back. I knew it. You wouldn't leave Jisheng alone and break her heart. You know that. Jisheng. Ow. Hey, you two are adults. Act like them. Can't you Get come out. down and talk to him? Ugh. Get out. Go away. Go away. Uh, 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 wait outside. After I talk her through this, I'll invite you in. Let me explain. It's not what you think it is. Uh, Jishing, uh, let me uh, let me explain. Uh, Jishing. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Disinfecting. Are you crazy? Finally, this money cow comes back. You'll scare him away. What if he does leave and never comes back? What would you do? Uh, Shut up or I'll drive you out too. Huh? Aren't these my clothes? Hmm? The perfect love. Hey, this kind of book is for losers who haven't fallen in love before. As for a lady killer like me, I don't need this. It may help. Look, this chapter. Oh, wonderful. It's about how to get your girlfriend back. Did you make an irretrievable mistake? Does your girlfriend refuse to talk to you? Hey, read this. Take a bouquet of roses. Stand outside her home for a whole night and say you love her. This way you'll be forgiven. If it happens to rain, your chances will be greatly increased. Oh, my God! The lamest idea ever! I don't think anyone will buy it. Hey, but Mr. Jung, for your information, Jishing happens to buy it. Last time when she went out with you, she did exactly what this book says. Hey, take this book with you. Get into it. Give it a shot. Uncle! Uncle! She doesn't know I snuck out to talk with you. I've got to go now. Good luck. Coming, coming. <sighs> Ninety-nine roses symbolize everlasting and loyal love. They're suitable for crucial moments like opening your heart or apologizing. It will steer you through critical moments of your life. <laughs> what a bunch of nonsense. Am I nuts following this advice? Hey. Jeez. The chance of winning a uniform invoice lottery is as slim as winning a Mark VI lottery. My dream of expanding my bar will never come true. 
Am I doomed to stay poor? Jiaxing, I love you. Did you hear me? I love you. I want to see you. Jiaxing, did you hear me? I love you. I'm uh, waiting for you. Uh, my nephew-in-law is back. Jiaxing, I love you. Hey, Jisheng, Jisheng. Hey, take a look. He isn't here alone. He brought a bunch of your favorite roses. Jisheng, if only for a second. Go bring him in. I Go love ahead. you. <sighs> you. <sighs> now even you're going against me. Shut up. Oh. Oh. oh, I can't be. Oh. Take a bouquet of roses. Stand outside her home for a whole night and say you love her. This way you'll be forgiven. If it happens to rain, your chances will be greatly increased. Oh, Zhong Qianqi, you're so lame. It's been a whole day and you haven't gotten her back yet. Zhong Qianqi, your protesting is illegal. You're seriously affecting the sleep quality of the folks in Tomorrowland. You must leave in three minutes, or I'll force you to leave! Huh? Great! Just what I need! Zhang Zhixing! Listen carefully! I said that nonsense during the press conference in order to protect you! I admit it! I promised my dad and brother I would say there's nothing going on between us for Eshine's sake! You must believe me. What I did is for your own good! Oh, Zishing, help out, please. Come out, please. Otherwise, we won't right. sleep. Xiao Zhixing, come out quickly! Xiao Zhixing, I won't leave until you come out to meet me! Zhixing, you'd better go out there to meet him. Hear that? It's ringing again. You don't go, my ear will be chalked off. Yeah, uh, okay. I'll tell her. <laughs> Looks like there's still hope for my expansion plan. Now the most important thing is to make a hot ginger soup for Mr. Jong. <laughs> You guys knock it off, okay? Oh, she's still mad. Is she? Roses for you. No need. <gasps> uh, 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 Yao, call the police. Hurry. Oh. Tianqi, take care of her. You get her back, huh? Mm. Okay? No more noises. Oh, go back. Let's go back, Let's to, go sleep. back to sleep. Don't go. Please come come, come back. back. Don't leave me alone. Let's go. Let's go. Jixing, I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong, but please believe in me. What I said to the media is to protect you. Protect me? Denying our relationship at the press conference and telling others I'm a fraud. That's how you protect me? Not to mention trampling on my dignity. That's also protecting me? Do you know, when I saw you show up in an expensive suit at the press conference, I was so scared. I was scared that I would lose you forever. You, you made me realize the distance between us. It's like a huge gap I can never get across. Hey, Jixing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but please trust me. I do love you. Ishan is in trouble because of me. I have to make it right myself. But I do love you, Jixing. Don't even think I'd trust you again with your sweet talking. I'm not a girl you can play around with. I'm not sweet talking or coaxing you. Just look!
the one I drew? I had it made. Especially overnight. No, it's a late birthday gift. I want to give it to you to make you feel happy and secure. I've decided to name it Midsummer Night Star. This diamond earring represents my true love. From today on, my heart is yours. Lantern roses symbolize everlasting and loyal love. Jishing, please. Give me one more chance to love you, okay? Not okay. Do you know how sad and scared I was? I know I hurt you so bad. Jishing, I'm very sorry. No, you don't know. You know nothing at all. If you knew, you wouldn't leave me alone and not call me back. Why did you deny a relationship at the press conference? Why did you hurt me? Isha needed you. Didn't I need you? Do you know how much I'd hoped you could be there for me? To win your love, I could give up my dignity. But you, what have you done for me? Nothing has changed. When you fell in love with me, I was a nobody, not an heir. Now I can still be that Jiang Tian Chi for you. As long as you let me stay by your side, okay? Mr. Jong, are you two done kissing? Can I open my eyes? Hey, uh, uh, I was so worried. It's cold and wet out here. Oh, right. I promise, from now on, you are the center of my life. Be my lucky star for the rest of my life. <clears throat> In that case, let's make some rules first. Ten rules should be okay. Ten rules? Mm? Mm, uh, I mean, only ten? Listen up. Firstly, don't get too close to other girls. Secondly, protect me when we're in a haunted house. Thirdly, don't take car sick pills before we head to an amusement park. Fourth, order kids combo with me in a restaurant. Fifth, don't take me to places like baseball fields. Sixth, only take cable cars with me. Seventh, don't take other girls to the beach. Eighth, don't jog while dressed in vests and shorts. Absolutely no chatting with cougars. 
Ninth, sing for me often. <laughs> Tenth, don't ever say I'm a tomboy. You must admit it. I'm sexy. Hmm? If you can agree to the aforementioned ten rules, I'll consider giving you one more chance. Can you really do that, huh? Mm, uh, I'll try my best on the tenth one, <coughs> but I'm totally okay with the rest. Not only try your best, you must agree to it. Hot water is ready, Mr. Jong. Come and take a hot bath. Change out of your wet clothes and go to bed. I'm going to my room to get changed. Room cleaned. It isn't finished. It's quite a mess. Go get changed in my room. What's that thing? Nothing. I saw it. Give it to me. Don't grab. It's really nothing. Uh, ah! uh, <laughs> I didn't expect you to move this fast. I was hoping we could take it slowly. <laughs> I won't let you run away from me again. Serious love of my life. Promise me, whatever happens, don't ever take his place. Whatever happens, don't ever take it off. You again? So you're the jewelry thief. What if I come to a rogue like you? You're a criminal yourself. It's my leverage. I need it to prove my innocence. You're so kind. Thank you for comforting me. You have the most beautiful heart in the world. Why do you want to see me? Because I believe in you. I know you have a heart of heart. I will pay back the debt. Mr. Wu, please. It's the first time I can do something without lying. Please. I've given you both my blessing. Tomorrow, you will get what you want. It will be easy to snap so much for me like you did. You do have feelings for me. Me, today is a day worth remembering. That girl has helped me forget about my past to find my true self. First, listen to me in love with you. If it was you, what would you have changed for? I want an only John Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi, I hope I can make all your wishes. Even if you want me to get all the stars from the sky for you, I will say, I do. It's in the night star. We won't ever be past. You know it's too late to check your breath.
Yeah. Tianqi, where are you? Why didn't you come home last night? <laughs> I'm at my girlfriend's place. Let's have dinner tonight at 7. Don't forget to bring her here. Okay, no problem. We'll be there. My dad invited us to dinner tonight. He specifically asked me to bring you along. Mm, but your dad doesn't seem to like me. I love you. That's enough. <laughs> but I don't have clothes for such a formal dinner. Don't worry. Let's go shopping and buy you some, hmm? Hmm? <laughs> All right, let's go. A poor girl like her wants to marry into our family. Mr. Chang, I have prepared the dishes for tonight's dinner. The guests on your list have been sent invitations. You may leave. I need a rest. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Mr. Zhang, how can I help you? So beautiful. Help us both choose outfits. Sure, this way, please. Check this out. Come on. Hey, you know, what are you doing here? Je suis cassé maintenant. Non, pas possible. Oh, je vous présente ma copine. Let me introduce my schoolmates, Paul and Rick. They're my good friends. <laughs> Joshin, my girlfriend. Bonjour, tu es très mignon. <sighs> English, please. Okay, go get changed. The sales girl's waiting for you. I want to chat with your adorable girlfriend. <laughs> I'll be right back. Mm. <laughs> Bonjour. Merci. Au revoir. Je t'aime. You are special. You're the first girl that Vernon has introduced to us as his girlfriend. I remember Tianxi likes independent women with a strong personality. I think there must be something unique about you. Mm. <laughs> Most people say I have a big heart. I'm sensitive and broad-minded. No, no, no. That's not what I meant. I meant, do you have any unique merits? Or do you have any special talents? What did you major in college? <laughs> I don't have a college degree. Is this true? Oh, I see. You must be really talented. You got your PhD directly after high school, correct? Uh, no. I only went to high school, and then I dropped out. Huh? So what if she's a dropout? The point is I love her. Why does she have to have talent or diploma? If you only care about these, that's not true love. Hey, I'm concerned about you. Being well-matched is the most important to our families. Forget it, you're not helping. Hey, I'm concerned about you. Being well matched is the most important to our families. Forget it, you're not helping. But he. You've got stuff to do. Okay. Souls. Dishing, ignore what they said. Hmm? Dishing, what's wrong? Well, nothing. They're talking nonsense. Just ignore them. You see, no matter what you wear, it always looks good on you. But I'm like a kid wearing a grown up's clothes. I always look awkward. You can speak fluent French. But I understand zilch. Let's change back into our clothes. Mm. 
Chen Chi, I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. Sorry for what? I've thought about it. We are who we are. We don't need to change ourselves. Our clothes are fine for the dinner. Hmm? Come on. Hi, Mr. John. Hello. Dad. <laughs> Uncle John. Sit. Chenji, ask Chen Jun to come down. I don't know why. But he is suddenly these days a workaholic. Go talk to him. You two always get along well. The butler can do that. If you listen to the butler, I wouldn't ask you to do it. Uh... Don't worry. She's fine with me. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'll be right back. I'll have the dishes served. Not so fast. There's one more guest. <laughs> 